Kelly Rizzo reveals the last conversation she had with her husband, Bob Saget, before his death. Plus, we've got exclusive details on why Justin Timberlake isn't going to read Jamie Lynn Spears' new book. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your entertainment news roundup, and we're starting this one off today with Britney and Jamie Lynn Spears because the girls are fighting. Again. Yesterday, the pop star shared a series of messages on Instagram trashing her younger sister and calling her a selfish little brat for dyeing her hair like Christina Aguilera and being hateful towards their mother, Lynn. Now, this latest rant comes after the former Zoe 101 star did an interview with the Call Her Daddy podcast to promote her new book, Things I Should Have Said. In the interview, Jamie Lynn discussed the difficult times around 2002 when Britney started changing after her breakup with Justin Timberlake. Well, it's needless to say that Britney did not agree with this take, and on top of being removed from her 13-year conservatorship, she's proving that she's not gonna stay silent during any of this. All right, but speaking of Justin Timberlake, Hollywood Life has learned exclusively that despite the former NSYNC star playing a major role in Jamie Lynn Spears' new book, he has no plans to read it. According to a source close to Justin, his relationship with Britney is one of the most important relationships in his life, but it ended 20 years ago. The Cry Me the River singer is also happily married, has kids and a career and life that is so beyond separate from all of that. When it comes to this situation regarding Britney and her family, our insider tells us that Justin is separating himself from it all and hopes that everybody involved is all well. Okay, and now on to Bob Saget's widow, Kelly Rizzo. Earlier today, the 42-year-old was on the Today Show and she broke down in tears as she revealed the last conversation she had with her husband. Kelly shared that it was a special interaction as she told him, I love you dearly, to which the former Full House star responded, I love you endlessly. Recall Bob passed away almost two weeks ago at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Orlando, Florida, as he was in the midst of a comedy tour. The actor's funeral took place last week and it was filled with people who loved him, such as stars Mary-Kate and Ashley and John Mayer. The Hollywood Life fam is sending their best during this time. But all right, you know what to do. Hit the sub like and bell button for all the latest news on your favorite celebs. And don't forget to follow me on social media at Ali Stegnita. Bye guys.